Good morning. I'm Pastor Dan Goddard. Today is Wednesday the 26th and this is a Creator's Heart Moment in which I wanted to share with you some scriptures, some meditations, thoughts, and prayers. So today I wanted to talk to you about confidence in who you are. You having confidence in who you are, those experiences in life that you've had, the jobs that you have, the gifts that you have, all of the things that you have are important and it's important to walk in confidence. Now, when we think of confidence, we can sometimes misunderstand or confuse confidence with arrogance. For instance, the Apostle Paul. <laughs> Let's start with this passage, Acts 23, 6. But perceiving that one group were Sadducees and the other Pharisees, Paul began crying out in the council, brethren, I am a Pharisee, a son of Pharisees. I am on trial for the hope and resurrection of the dead. Paul could be perceived as a rather boastful kind of a character. Some of us pastors, preachers, ministers, people in leadership, people in position, sometimes can be perceived as being full of themselves. But I can assure you that there are times when we're not. And it has to do with having confidence, confidence in ourselves. No matter what our station in life is, we should have confidence in ourselves. But let, let's, let's look at this a little bit more. Let's talk about Paul. Let's use him as, as, uh, as an example of this. Romans 16, 25 says, Now to him who is able to establish you according to my gospel, <laughs> to Paul's gospel, and the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery which has been kept secret for long ages past. Isn't it interesting? We could actually think, wow, is he like elevating himself? Is Paul kind of puffed up or arrogant? No, when we look at the passage, let's read it again. Now to him who is able to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery, which has been kept secret for long ages past. Paul isn't speaking about himself per se, because he does talk about his gospel, but what is his gospel? His gospel is the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery, which has been kept secret for long ages past. So he's not glorifying himself. He's actually glorifying God, but he's speaking in confidence with the experience that he's had in life, with the ministry he's had, with the gifts that he's had. He's speaking with confidence in those things. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 says, Now I am known to you, brethren, the gospel which I preach to you, which also you received, in which also you stand. You could perceive that inappropriate, right, or arrogant, but it's not. He's not giving glory to himself, but he is stating something in confidence. Romans eleven thirteen, But I am speaking to you who are Gentiles. Is he speaking down because he called them Gentiles? I'm speaking to you who are Gentiles. I don't think that's what he's saying. He goes on and it says, Inasmuch then as I am an apostle of Gentiles, I magnify my ministry. Whoa. I magnify my ministry. Wow, that sounds kind of arrogant. But contextually, it's not. Why? Because his ministry is in Christ. Paul also said things like, for me to live is Christ, but to die is gain. So sometimes it's really uh, almost a thin line, but really what it has to do is with is the intent of heart and who we're glorifying. That's the key. 1 Corinthians 4, 15 through 16. It says, for if you were to have countless tutors in Christ, yet you would not have many fathers, for in Christ Jesus I became your father through the gospel. <laughs> Therefore, I exhort you, be imitators of me. Wow, that's pretty bold right there. Is that arrogant? No, I don't think so. It's confidence. He was confident in who he was in Christ. He didn't say it to bring glory to himself. He said it because look what God has done with me. Look what God has done through me. So no matter what our station is in life, it's important to understand it has to do with who we're really, truly, in the end, glorifying. 
We should have confidence in who we are. Why? Because God made us. God doesn't make junk. He makes beautiful things. 1 Corinthians 11.1, 1, Be imitators of me, just as I also am of Christ. Be imitators of me, having confidence that Christ is in you. Because if we don't have confidence that Christ is in us, then do we really have Christ in us? Food for thought. Let's pray. Father God, we ask that you give us the confidence of your spirit, that we would not walk in, in pride or arrogance or ego, but we would walk in a manner that is worthy of you, Lord, that we would not walk boastfully, arrogant, but God, we would walk humbly, broken. We would walk in a way of denying ourselves, cause us to be light and salt, cause us to walk in confidence, cause us to be just like you, King Jesus. You are holy, you are mighty, you are worthy. Bless these people, bless this time. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Be confident today. Have a blessed day.